Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be preparing hydroxylamine urinate. Hydroxylamine urinate is a bright yellow solid which is formed when free hydroxylamine reacts with a urinal salt. I'll be making hydroxylamine urinate by first forming hydroxylamine in solution, then adding a urinal salt. I'm using urinal acetate, which you can see in the beaker right there. To begin, I've weighed out one gram of urinal acetate. It is a bright yellow slash green slash lime green solid, which is fairly soluble in water, but not to any great extent. I'm also going to need 0.5 grams, or one half of a gram, of hydroxylamine sulfate. It's a white crystalline solid, which is fairly hygroscopic. I'm just going to add the hydroxylamine sulfate directly to the urinal acetate. Then I'm going to add 5 milliliters of water and a stir bar. Not everything should dissolve. However, we do want things to be fairly homogeneous. To start the reaction, 5 milliliters of 7% aqueous ammonia is added. Stirring is turned on, and shortly we should see the formation of a bright yellow powder. You may be able to see some of that forming right now. Once all the ammonia has been added, let this stir for a few minutes and heat if necessary to low heat. This will facilitate the dissolution of any urinal salts as well as any hydroxylamine or hydroxylamine salts that may still remain as solids. The hydroxyl ammonium urinate will then precipitate out of solution as aforementioned a yellow powder. Hydroxyl ammonium urinate is insoluble in water. Something interesting to know about what we're making here is it is not a hydrate, rather it is an ammoniate salt. This means that instead of the normal water molecule that is attached, instead it is an ammonia, or NH3. The ammoniate can be exchanged for a aqua or water molecule by a reaction of acetic acid or glycerol. If stirring is stopped, we can see that the hydroxyl ammonium urinate slash ammoniate has precipitated out and settled on the bottom. To get the best yield, I'm going to heat this to a very low heat, probably around 30 to 40 degrees Celsius, just to make sure that I drive the reaction forward. Hey everyone, small post-production edit here. I found that if I just immediately filtered it and dried it, I got a sort of flaky and brittle material, as you can see in the beaker right here. However, if I was to leave it overnight, which I ended up doing for this batch, uh, what you're seeing right now is from an earlier run, then I got some really nice crystals, which you can see right here. Here's the final product, a greenish-yellow crystalline solid weighing 0.88 grams. I really hope you enjoyed. You can like if you want to, subscribe if you want to, and thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Special thank you to my Patreon supporters. Without all of you, videos like this would not be possible. Thank you.